Um, name ch- okay, where am I? Boys versus girls. Dear Billy, wrong balls. Oh, God, my balls are wrong, too. I thought it was just my mouth. Now my nuts are dragged into it. An accessory to the crime. Uh, you mentioned a few times how glad... Uh, how you're glad you have a girl versus a boy. I have one of each, and I can tell you for sure that is that it's not the case. All right, so basically what you're going to do is what I did. I based the whole world on my wonderful daughter. So evidently you don't have a good daughter, so now my daughter's going to be bad. Uh, not that boys are better. They're just different. Girls are very emotional, and their attitude is way more defiant in different ways. Ironically, misuse of the word, Parentheses. Uh, my four best friends all have one of each uh, as well, and we have had this talk a bunch of times. All right, now he has numbers on me. All right, now I'm losing. Uh, we're all different people and parents and have different ethnic backgrounds. Fuck! He's got a great algorithm going here. And one conclusion we came to quickly was that it's a trade off. Some things are way easier with boys. Uh, you're a man who's been around, so you know that there are major differences in the ways boys and girls and men and women process things. Dude, can you just let me enjoy when she's a kid? I don't need to know that she's going to hate me when she's eight. Uh, my daughter is very kind and very polite, but at times she can be a bit, how do I say, intense. Once again, I'm not trying to convince you that boys are better, just that you'll see when girls can be a handful. No, I didn't think it was going to be an easy ride. I'm just saying that boys are animals. They're lunatics. Like the first 10 years of their life, they're, they're, or eight, seven, eight years, of they're, 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 they're lunatics. Can you give me that, sir? Now, I got to respect you because you're further down the road than I am, so you got the experience on me. I'm still a rookie here. I'm about ready to start the sophomore jinx. Year number two. Uh, oh, no, I'm, I'm already two years in. Uh, next month. Again, not a blanket statement. I'm sure your daughter will continue to be an angel, but she has yours and Nia's spitfire genes, and she will surely show it in a few years if she hasn't already. No, she has. She has. Um, I'm happy you're glad you had a daughter and not trying to convince you otherwise. I just think you're being a bit naive. Go fuck yourself. I ha- Just fucking call me naive. You argue like a broad. You just, you just literally said, you know, I'm going to tell you something, but you have to promise you're not going to get mad. I'm not trying to convince you otherwise. And now I'm going to call you naive. Uh, food for thought. Um, oh, go fuck yourself. That whole fucking thing. That guy can go fuck himself. Hey, not trying to be this, not trying to be that. Just saying you're way fucking wrong. I'm not trying to convince you otherwise. Just saying you're fucking, you know, you're a bit fucking naive. Uh, that's some food for thought. Hey, here's some food for thought. Why don't you go fuck yourself, all right? Um, you're not me, and I'm not you, and I, I'm, I'm very happy for you and your united Benetton colors of fucking friends that you have. But you guys can all go fuck yourselves, all right? Jesus fucking Christ. I mean, I got to be honest with you. You didn't really tell me anything that I didn't already know. Women are more emotional. Gee, thank you for that gem. I never noticed. I never noticed that men and women process things differently. Now, you know something? Let's go back to this. I have one of each. Not that they're better. They're just different. You had like your hands up the whole time, you know? Your fucking gun belt around your ankles, and then you you took a giant shit all ah, I, yeah, that really bugs me. I like it better when people go, "Hey, Bill, you don't know, you know what the fuck you're talking about." All right, this, then at least I know where you stand. Granted, I'll still get upset. All right, shitty new bosses. I already know how I'm going to handle when my daughter gets upset with me. I'll just be, like, "Hey, hey, hey! All right, all right, I get it." Go talk to your mother. I don't understand these things. Um, hey there, hey there, Billy, no boss. My company just got bought out. I have a boss. I work for Netflix. Efforts for family. My company just got bought out, and this job I love will be majorly affected by this corporate shit house. I've had a lot of freedom to be creative and innovative, but that's all going to go away. Yes, it is. Here comes the algorithms. Bum, 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 ba, da, ba, da, ba, ba. Don't have fun. Don't fuck each other. We're a fucking corporation. Pour this shit in the drinking water. Who cares if babies have birth defects? 
Um, I've been told that there will be a set of guidelines put in place that will essentially rob me from all the joy I had. It's really heartbreaking because I've just reached the point where I am able to make good money. The new bosses came in and started talking to us like they were exist. There were existing problems that needed to be fixed. This is, of course, ridiculous because they bought. Um, they bought us because of how well we were run and how innovative we have been. Should I just quit now so I don't have to deal with everything that is to come? I've saved a lot of money, but it's a unique job, and I'm not sure I'll be able to find anything like it in the near future. Well, then I wouldn't quit it. Um. I, I, you know, something, God bless anybody in the corporate world that deals with stuff like that. And you just don't go be like, like when they come in, you can't tell them to shut the fuck up. Because what's going to happen is they're going to ruin the company. They're going to make it worse. And no one's ever going to step to them and say that, you know, you guys took a great thing and you made it less great. Slash fuck the whole thing up. No one ever tells them that because all they do is look at the bottom line. Um, I have to, you know. I don't know. I, I've I've watched enough fucking documentaries and shit, and listened to enough people. Like they have to just like corporations. The way they do business needs to be fixed. Um, because it's just a fucking runaway train. It affects our foreign policy. It affects people's quality of life. Um, everything from how much money they make to like the environment, how polluted or not polluted it is. And uh, until you get a, I don't know, because politicians have their money pouring out of their pockets. Like they've just fucking, they're treasonous people that just, yeah, they exist without fucking borders. They're, they're the worst. They are the fucking worst. We can agree on that. Boys versus girls, who gives a fuck? Just the corporate mindset is just fucking insane. Uh, Merry Christmas, everybody. Uh, my girlfriend, at the aspiring model. Dear Bill, same shit, different toilet. I'll rush through the generic intro. I'm dating the girl of my dreams. We've been exclusive for three months, but I've been dating for a total of eight months. She's gorgeous. Her beauty has no boundaries. I've been in other serious relationships before, but none quite like this. I'm truly in love with my best friend, like something Nicholas Sparks shit out. Well, who the fuck is that? Now I got to look that up. He says, yada, 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 you get the gist. Who the fuck is Nicholas Sparks that he shits out models? All right, I got to look this up. Houston Oilers. Nicholas Sparks. Oh, God, I fucking, I fucking hate Apple. You want to talk about a corporation that just infiltrated my whole life. Now everything I have is like run by those this stupid round building. He's a novelist. What the fuck? I, well, I wouldn't have. Well, no wonder I didn't know who it was. The guy writes books. All right, hang on a second. Merry Christmas to all my friends and readers. Okay, he's a, he's a, he writes books. Nicholas Sparks is one of the world's most beloved storytellers. All his books have been New York Times bestsellers. Jesus Christ. And I don't even, I, I, back in the day, I knew who the, I would know about a guy like this. There's just no more bookstores. Um, ah, he's got a sweater over a button down shirt. He's leaning up against a fucking pole on a dock. I mean, this guy is a quality human being. Nicholas Sparks is one of the world's most beloved storytellers. All of his books have been New York Times bestsellers with over 105 million copies sold worldwide. In more than 50 languages, including 75 million in the United States alone. Sparks wrote one, also a male. Sparks wrote one of his best known stories, The Notebook. Oh, Jesus. Oh, I get what you're saying. You're like living a chick flick. Okay. I get it now. All right. Um, something Nicholas Sparks shit out. Okay. So I guess he, he puts out a lot of product. Uh, anyway, she's an aspiring model and pretty good at her craft. Her and the camera get along great. Anyway, her lack of experience has her still getting offers from unknown photographers. In particular, a guy she's done a few shoots with in the past. This time he wants to shoot nude and without pay. Fuck no. Obviously, I have a problem with this. I want her. She doesn't need to be naked. Don't do that. 
I want I want her to pursue her passion, but this in particular doesn't sit right with me. I've never met this guy. He's not paying her to shoot. And what's her reasoning for wanting naked pictures of my girl? I've watched enough Jerry Springer and forensic files not to trust it. Definitely. She talked to me, wanting my blessing, which makes me feel worse. I told her my unease about it, but in the end, I trust her and will be okay if she goes ahead. She wants to model, so I'll have to get over things like this. No, you don't. But right now, it's a tough pill to swallow. Any advice or comic relief you could provide would be appreciated. Thanks and go fuck yourself. No, fuck this piece of shit. And then he's going to sell these, these naked photos of her when she fucking gets somewhere. This guy's a piece of shit. He's not even giving her cab fare to get over there? No. Fuck this guy with his artistic nude shots. This guy's a fucking creep. He's going over to her apartment. That guy is a fucking creep.